Welcome to the walkthrough portion of the Novamind Presenter. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the walkthrough feature of the Novamind Presenter to give an ad hoc presentation of any mind map. The walkthrough mode is part of the Novamind Presenter and available in the Platinum Edition. This tutorial only focuses on the walkthrough feature of the presenter and doesn't go into the other presentation features available in the Novamind presenter. If you haven't already done so, I would recommend that you watch the presenter tutorial first. You can start a walkthrough at any time by clicking on the walkthrough button under the presenter tab on the ribbon. This will automatically maximize the window to use your whole screen and the ribbon and status bar will slide out of the way. You can access the ribbon or status bar at any time by moving your mouse to the top or bottom of the screen. If you don't want Novamind to maximize the window, you can hold down the control key while starting the walkthrough. This will leave the window size as it is while still sliding out the ribbon and status bar. This is especially useful if you're doing a screencast and you don't want to have Novamind cover the full screen. After clicking on the walkthrough button, you can begin your walkthrough by either clicking on the navigation buttons at the bottom left of the screen or by using the keyboard shortcuts. The walkthrough will start from the mind map title and will then continue going through the topics based on the walkthrough settings. Between the forward and backward buttons on the controls at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a little gear button which allows you to set the options for your walkthroughs. Note that these options are global preferences and will therefore be used for all of your walkthroughs. The first option is whether to expand one topic level or two topic levels. So this controls how many levels of subtopics are automatically expanded when you visit a topic. If the Visit All Topics option is turned on and you are navigating using the arrow buttons or the spacebar, each of the subtopics will be highlighted in turn before going on to the next topic. This can be useful if you treat your mind map like a list where you want to go through all of the items and highlight and talk about each one in turn. If you think of your mind map more as having a topic with reminders as to the meaning of the topic being contributed by the subtopics, then you might like to leave this option turned off. If you have the auto collapse topics turned on, the topics that are not being presented at the time are collapsed. If this option is off, any topics that are expanded will not be collapsed again. This can be useful for progressive revelation of information. The navigation during the walkthrough mode is quite different from the navigation in the presentation mode. Here are the ways of navigating. You can use the forward and backward arrow buttons. These are the buttons at the bottom left of the screen during your presentation. In walkthrough mode, they take you to the next topic in logical order, visiting and highlighting the appropriate topics. If you have visit all topics turned on, this will mean that the leaf topics will also be visited. Tab and shift tab will take you forward and back through the walkthrough in exactly the same way as using the forward and back arrow buttons as we've just described. The spacebar will take you to the next topic in exactly the same way as the forward arrow button would. Now the arrow keys are a little bit different. The arrow keys allow you to navigate around the mind map in the same way that you would normally go if you were not in presentation mode. They'll take into account both the logical ordering and the physical position of the topics in order to go to the next topic in the direction of the arrow that you pressed, and they will expand and collapse topics as necessary. While in the walkthrough mode, you can also click on any topic to present that topic. You can also use the map tabs under the ribbon to switch to a different map or click on a floating topic, call out or shape to present them. When you click on a call out or floating topic which has subtopics, the navigation keys will then take you through the subtopics. You can use the normal zoom and pan commands during a walkthrough and use the scroll wheel zooming or move your mouse to the bottom of the screen to show the zoom slider. While in the walkthrough mode, you can still access hyperlinks, attachments and topic notes just in the same way as you normally would. To exit the walkthrough, press escape. You can also use the mode button in the bottom left to switch into edit mode or to start a presentation. The walkthrough is very useful to present a mind map without any preparation or to present parts of a mind map that were not covered in a slides based presentation. 
With all these features, the Novamind presenter gives you a huge amount of power and flexibility. If you really want to become a power user of the entire presenter, you can read the full written documentation which gives you finer detail about the options and some more tips and tricks to get the most out of it. But what we've covered here is everything that you need to know to be able to use the walkthrough function of the Novamind presenter.